All right, guys. So today we are working on a 2001 Toyota uh, Sienna. We're gonna be replacing the valve cover gasket because it is leaking in the front. Um, obviously, we're gonna have to change the back because I mean you could just do the front one, but we're gonna be doing both at the same time. And this is a pretty easy job. It's not that hard. Um, many beginner people could probably do it. It's just it's very time consuming and the only really i guess special tool that you would need is maybe like an allen uh socket wrench because it does have these right here to take off the cover but it's just a cover and just like that the cover is off now from here we're going to want to take off these coil packs i'm going to be doing the spark plugs as well because we were already going to do the rear and you don't want to take all that off to do the spark plugs again even though you could do it without this we're moving this the spark plugs but it'll just be easier doing everything at once so we're going to remove these uh, 10 millimeter bolts, clips, bolt, clip, bolt, clip, and then we'll move on to the rest. All right, so we took off the coil packs right there. We took them off. Uh, those are just 10 millimeters connections. And then these right here, you need a special, well, I guess not special, but you'll need an E6. It's a pretty small inverted star, basically, to remove these two uh, bolts right here to remove this rail. <clears throat> and then once we remove that then we'll be free to remove this hose which is pretty easy it's just a clamp slide it off and then we'll get to the bolts around it so we're just here removing this two bolts and now this is free right here put these pliers slide that off there's the hose now from the top right here there's 10 millimeter bolts that go on the edges right here we're going to loosen all those up and the cover should just come right up now we're going to do with this uh, little drawer. Alright guys, so we took this off right now. And we're going to get a screwdriver and pry it right here. And it should lift up the cover like this. As you can see, the cover is coming off. We're going to pry it over here. And uh, that wasn't supposed to happen, but... Alright, so we took it off right now. It's all loose, all the bolts are loose, and it should just come off easy like this. And that's it. We're gonna put this here. And that's how it looks like from the inside right there. Start moving other stuff to get to the back. Alright, so now that we remove that, we have to start removing all this stuff right here. So start removing the intake. And in order to get to the rear valve cover, that's what we need to do to remove the intake. So we're gonna start by removing the airbox, which is pretty easy. It's just click right here. A uh, hose with a clamp, another hose with a clamp, and then we'll continue when we get more into it. All right, so we're back, and now we removed the air box right there. As you can see, it's pretty easy. It's just an air box, and the hoses that go right there. I disconnected some cables, a hose, a connection. Uh, I guess the most harder thing would be is removing this cable right here. Disconnect it from uh, right there, 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 and there. And then there's two 10 millimeter nuts, one right there, and one on this side. So you can remove this uh, thing right here that holds the evap things. And once you get that, it gets out of the way and it's a lot easier to get to these Allen uh, bolts. And with those Allen bolts right there, that's what you need, need to loosen up in order to remove the intake. All right guys, so we have everything off. Uh, I think it would be a lot easier explaining to it with everything off because uh, there's a few things I need to point out before this thing will come out uh, just to make it easy on you guys. There's that bracket right there, uh, and then this bracket right here, and this ground right here. That bracket right there, uh, and then this bracket right here, and this ground right here. You need to disconnect the bracket from here, ground from here, and there's another ground right here. Uh, disconnect those three in order for it to slide off. Uh, so you need to take off these basically three things in order for it to slide out. Other than that, you just need to remove the, the what is it, one, two, three, four bolts that go on top right here. And remove like a little bit of things. Just mainly connections like that. You don't have to remove any hoses. There is like a coolant hose. You don't have to remove that. You can just scoot it over like this and it comes out in like one piece. That way you don't have to uh, worry about any coolant. So that's pretty much all I disconnected. As you can see, connectors. Uh, like I said the rails and then uh, remove the coils from the back obviously and it has 10 millimeter bolts right here uh, the hose that went to the thing 
and it just comes off like this and you can just wiggle it out it should come out easy um and then we're going to be doing the spark plugs ah we're going to be doing the spark plugs uh might as well do them you know because we're already here we're gonna be doing them and yeah that's pretty much it all right so as you guys can see it got pretty late pretty quick so i had to hurry up so what i'm basically doing now is i put it back on as you can see the new gasket is in there it's blue uh, i mean it's pretty self-explanatory it just comes out uh like I said, the only thing you really have to do is remove this intake. And everything else is pretty easy and straightforward from there. Uh, just remove the coils, PCV hose right there. And it should come right out. Uh, I will be showing how to do the front one just because that is a lot easier. But it would be the same thing just for the rear. Except for the difference is the intake. Uh, I am going to be replacing this gasket right there. I'm, I'm going to be replacing it. I do have a new one. Uh, came with the kit. And yeah. All right, so here we are doing the front one. Like I said, it turned pretty dark. Um, so what you want to do is the kit came with these new um, spark plug tube seals. And these are the old ones right here. I left one more in to show you guys how you guys do it. So you got like a pry bar or a screwdriver. And just pry it from right here. Just like that. Wait, maybe I forgot the seal. Still sort of stuck. Kinda hard doing it with one hand, but there you go. If I can do it with one hand, you can do it with two. Um, so there it is, there's the old seal. So now to put these on, these go in like this, straight in like that. We're gonna put three of them. And then the seal is pretty self-explanatory, goes on the edge. All right, just like this, as you can see, fresh seal installed, new spark plug grommets in, and they're ready to go. So you can see the old one is all hard and not flexible. This one is nice and soft and rubberized. So now, this part's pretty easy too. I mean, you all really, really just gotta make sure the seal does not slip or fall. And just put it in, line it up, just like that. And then it's not gonna see all the way properly right now because these seals right here need to line up and go over the tubes so once you start tightening it down evenly uh the tubes will will overlap each other and they'll sit down perfectly but yeah, now I just put the bolts on just put the bolts on and then we'll get to putting back the harness one all right and just like that all the stuff is in as you can see the o-rings seated perfectly if they start to poke out just get like a small pocket screwdriver and poke them in like this so they're flush and then make sure to check to see that the seal is not pinched or anything as you can see the seal is nice and even you check the other side over here too you just make sure everything is even like i'm showing you guys here as you can see it's all even um let's just snug them all down evenly go in a crisscross pattern uh, they don't have to be too tight and yeah now we're just going to put the wire harness back on which was right here and then you just put that on spark plugs coils on hose and air box on and that's pretty much it those are that's the valve cover it's pretty easy except for it's just doing the back one that you have to remove quite a bit of stuff uh, so like i told you guys it's pretty easy to remove it's just four bolts right here to remove the manifold and then there's one bracket in the back with a 14 millimeter and then she just come right out and obviously the hoses and that's it uh, pretty easy uh, honestly it took me about i want to say four hours i want to say maybe three four hours uh just because i'm doing the spark plugs as well maybe you can do it a little faster maybe like two hours but yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching and see you guys next time